Many women who undergo treatment for breast cancer have the option of choosing breast reconstruction surgery. Beyond the cosmetic, it can be an essential part of a woman's recovery process. Joining us to shed light on the topic is former president of the American Society of Plastic Surgeons, Dr. David Song, also with us, breast reconstructive patient, Karen Silkaitis. Good morning to you both folks. Good morning. Good morning. Doctor, let's start with you. In your practice, I know that you have uh, been one-on-one -on -one with so many women uh, undergoing treatment for breast cancer and other conditions. Tell me what it is that is so valuable about breast reconstruction. So first and foremost, we wanna make sure that all women have a choice and reconstructive breast surgery is available to all women. Uh, beyond that, we know, and there's t uh, a plethora of studies that show that patients who get reconstruction have a better quality of life, have a sense of well-being uh, than those that don't. So again, we at the American Society of Plastic Surgeons want to make sure that women are informed and women can involve their plastic surgeon from the very beginning of their journey. Yes, absolutely. And you know, that journey can be a difficult one. Uh, and I know that when many women are diagnosed, they just feel like they're, uh, you know, a bit uh, under a cloud of, of the whole event. Uh, so it's good that folks know where to go to get the info. Karen, um, I'd love to talk to you a little bit about your journey um, through diagnosis, reconstruction, and now what it's like to live a normal life. Yeah, great, thank you. So um, in 2009, I was diagnosed with the BRCA1 or BRCA1 gene uh, that makes it much more likely that I would develop breast cancer. Uh, and I surrounded myself with a care team at that point. And then about two years later, when it looked like I was starting to develop signs of breast cancer, my care team, including a board certified plastic surgeon, presented me with a number of options. Um, I elected to go with bilateral mastectomies and reconstructive surgery. Uh, and I did a lot of things to try to figure out what kind of reconstruction I wanted to do. I went to websites like breastreconusa.org. I looked at patient stories and before and after pictures. And along with my board certified plastic surgeon, I was able to choose the best option for not only my body, uh, but also my life. I have a very busy life as a performer and a mom um, and I wanted to feel good again and I and and I do I do I feel great I feel confident um, I like my body in some ways more now actually after surgery uh, and the doctors and my plan I know it's strange to say but um, I like I like the look and feel of my new breasts and so I feel really good about the decisions that I made well honestly it's great to see you smiling and, and looking so happy about it I imagine at the time you were going through it it was quite intimidating so I you're a great model for it other is. women yeah it, it's a really really un intimidating diagnosis um, do doctor for sure it's overwhelming oh my gosh I can only imagine uh, let's talk about the role of a plastic surgeon um, when people are diagnosed many women they're looking for options and, and you mentioned it's great to consult with a plastic surgeon early on in the diagnosis. Now, why is that? Well, that's right. And I think you mentioned it. There's a cloud that is encompassing them and their families, and it's hard to make a decision and know what the options are. So it's important to know the timing of the treatment, the timing of reconstruction. In many ways, we can afford uh, to provide breast reconstruction in the immediate stage after the mastectomy and so mm. these are the options that are so important for patients to know and that's why having a board certified member of the American Society of Plastic Surgeons involved from state from the very beginning of the diagnosis. Well thank you so much doctor and I know you have you have really incredible cr credentials so I appreciate your thoughts on the subject. Folks where can we go for more information? So patients can go to breastreconusa.org to look at all the surgical options available to them and also get a sense of how a breast reconstruction can look and feel like. Great, Dr. Song, Karen, thank you so much. To learn more about options for reconstructive surgery, visit the website on your screen. The website also has details on Breast Reconstruction Awareness Day, which is set for October 18th. The American Society of Plastic Surgeons is a proud sponsor of The Morning Blend.